All right, guys, we got a great show for you today. We are going to be talking about in this podcast, the hotel season, the vanishing hotel season. It's on Netflix, but I think that's the title. But uh, my fiance recommended this documentary and it was actually good. So I want to know what you guys think. I wonder if you guys seen this new documentary because it's been on Netflix's top number one. And also, I want to know if your thoughts about it and how you guys feel about the ending conclusion of this. We're going to get into that right after this. All right, guys, we're back at it again in another episode of the Vigilantes. Da, da, da. <laughs> yeah, I was like, hold on, what? I was just doing that. Thank you, but thank you. Uh, so again, we're back again, guys. Another podcast episode. But today we're doing a different thing. We're doing actually the documentary that was number one on Netflix. Um, hotel Cecil. Cecil Hotel. The Vanishing of Hotel Cecil. The Vanishing at the Cecil Hotel. At the Cecil Hotel. There you go. Okay? And, uh, you know, I don't, like I said, I, it has to be a good documentary for me to get into it. But. I uh, recommend it. She recommended it. I was watching it. And I, the thing is, I, I seen, I remember when, when the girl went missing, I did see the elevator thing on YouTube. Mm. You know, that was freaky as hell. I just thought she was drugged up or stuff, you know. Excuse me. I thought she was drugged or she was crazy. From what it looked to me, when I started, I was like, she looked a little <laughs> out of it. She looked distressed as well, but she looked like she was waiting for somebody. Too. Yeah. See, he didn't see it. We just so I'm like, we just showed, we just we showed just him, showed him and the v- elevator footage. That's all he saw. Just the elevator footage. He didn't see the documentary. Yeah, I just yeah, I didn't see it, but we did. And you know what? It's only four episodes, and it's not bad. It's actually really, it's actually really interesting and good. And I didn't know a lot into the story, but it's you know that's why I like when they dig up a whole bunch of shit. Mm. Yeah. You know, because they shit shit I didn't even know about. I just thought I knew about the girls. But that was the biggest story because she was missing. But the hotel has so much freaking secrets in it. And then she ended up on the rooftop in a water tower. Yeah, in a water tank. Yeah. yeah. That's what it said. So I was like, what? They really go into detail with it though. Like I'm like, you know what? Kind of makes sense. Like I'm getting into it right now. Since you didn't see it, this is Elisa Lamb. Was the basically with this is story. Uh, this documentary goes around, wraps around, and she went missing, and nobody knew where she was. She she visited the hotel Cecil and from. 19 days. It took 19 19 days to find her. her. And they found her um, on top of the roof of the hotel inside a water tank. naked. And the only reason they found her was because other people said that the water was gray. And that it tasted funny. Yeah, so that's what's good about the documentary. It kind of shows how it happened and how how they wanted it, why they went up there and how they found her. I just want to give a shout out to the cameraman behind the camera. I'm not going to say his name, but (laughs) shout out to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. That's fine. Sorry. Just keep on going. But um, so, what was that? <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Well, she was in the water tank. She was no, in the water tank. There that. was a lot of weird things, though. The fact that she was naked. Why did she get naked before she went into the water tank? How long, or in there? How long she was there and how she get in there? Because it, the way the latch was, the door is kind of small. It's very small. And okay. So. It's well, just how she get there. From what you told, I haven't seen it. I just saw the yeah. footage from the, the elevator or whatever. He told me that she was found in the, in the water tanks on the roof and shit, which I see too. But I don't get it. How long did it take? 19, 19 days. 19 days to find, to find her. But they, they knew they were already looking for her, right? It's because when they, 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 they sent dogs, in the documentary they say they, they sent dogs. Like when they went with dogs and dogs sniffed to like the fire escape. 
No. And they sent with God. They went looking for her. He said, why did they go looking for her? They went looking for her because she was supposed to be in constant communication with her parents. Oh, right, yeah. Mm. And her parents reported her missing because she didn't contact them in any way. And that's when they noticed, okay, well, she never really checked out of this hotel. Where the heck is she? So they went into the room. She's not there, but all her stuff is there. And then that's when the investigation went and they couldn't find her. And then that's when they brought in the dog, which one of the dogs, most, more than one of the dogs, yeah. sniffed to, no, I think it was one actually, sniffed to this window that led to the fire escape. And then they lost mm. the scent. And then it lost the scent. Basically. But then they went on the roof and they said, uh, it they is... went on the roof and they missed her. Yeah. That one cop went to the top, looked down, and said, "Oh well, all of the all of them are closed. So all the water towers were closed. So oh. it can't be. So they missed her, and then this couple that was staying there, yeah, are the reason that they found her. They were in the documentary. You remember them? And they like, were. They had. They stood there for a little bit. And because were, it was such a great rate. They said yeah. it's like really cheap. It's cheap. Uh -huh. And the hotel is on Skid Row in California. And which is a very, Skid if you Road. don't know, <laughs> it's like where, you know. All the homeless people. Where homeless people, mentally, drugies, mentally ill people, yeah, uh, addicted, people drugged people. Yeah. And in the, in the actual, like, in the actual documentary, they mention a guy that is actually sitting on the road. On Skid Row, oh, yeah. he has a pigeon in his hand. He just bit the head off and was just eating it. It was a cop, right? The cop saw him doing it. It was a cop, yeah, was a cop, on, on, was a cop on, on tour at that, on, like on tour, but on duty at that area. And, and he, he just, said somebody just picked up a pigeon and, and it just chopped his head off. <laughs> like, yeah, fuck. Off. And there was blood squirting on it. Was, it was just confused. They, they, These are know, people that don't have food. These are people that are yeah. mentally disabled. Of course, there should be more of a place for them, but no, there's not. Yeah, and it's like they, they mm -hmm. kind of get into the. Uh, I gotta watch this. The, no, but yeah, that's cool because the documentary gets into it also. Yeah. It's like they kind of, Los Angeles kind of push them in one area. They try to keep them yeah. in that area. Like that's so nobody has to deal with them. And the mm -hmm. thing with the Cecil Hotels is so cheap, so a lot of them reside there. Yeah, yeah. But a lot of them also die there from drug overdoses, homicides, suicides. Mm -hmm. And she's one of them. The couple, though, she went to basically turn on the water and the water was kind of grayish yeah um she tasted the water which was just she said it tasted funny and so she yeah it's gross <laughs> it is gross so she complained to the hotel manager and then they sent her somewhere else where the water they put them in a different you know place yeah. and where the water was still still the same so the same no water pressure what's going on what's going on you know so then the janitor he went to go, went check, to go it check when he went up he saw her Right there. Oh, dead body. Fuck. Yeah. And he's like, this is the girl we've been looking for. Yo. So okay, that's they were washing everybody with and brushing their teeth and drinking the water of a dead person. That's nasty. Okay, okay. gross. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it's really gross. Yeah. I have to so, watch it, I'll have a little more to say about it. Yeah. Cause it's really just watching this and you telling me I have to it's good. No, it's really, and really. And it gets into the skid room, and a lot of people stay the there. They said the thing same. is, there the, was so much coincidences. Yeah. The amount of coincidences. Yeah. We're crazy. But don't mention it. I'll watch it. Okay. We gotta talk about it, John. Well, yeah. I haven't seen it. Too bad. Okay. Okay. Say something. You could be watching this. Uh, say something about what you already told me. Look, man, we're talking about. Look, I'm talking about. What I'm talking about. Okay. There was an outbreak. <laughs> there was a lot of, of shit. tuberculosis, basically. Uh, there was an outbreak of tuberculosis. So the weird part is that to test for tuberculosis, the test name is the Lamb Elisa. Then Elisa Lamb is the one. And Elisa Lamb is her name. Holy shit! It's crazy. That is like a really big coincidence, but I don't know. That's not to do with anything. It's just a crazy coincidence. It's just a crazy coincidence, <laughs> you know. It's exactly her name spelled the, the opposite way. <clears throat> and then also the coordinates from the bookstore. Yeah. Where the coordinates to exactly where oh, she, she buried. buried. It was really weird. It's weird. This is a strange case. It's a very strange but, uh, case. But, you know, it, it was interesting because they, like I said, they, they kind of show you what happened. One lady worked there as a manager and stuff. Mm -hmm. And she said, like, a whole bunch, she, over 80 people died in her years in there. That, she oh, said she doesn't think there's a people room. People die all the time, so they're used to it. Yeah. They're used to people dying or shooting up or doing drugs or getting raped in there. It's like, because it's Skid Row. Oddly like, enough. People even live there, like tenants. They yeah. tenants. And she wants to stop that, however... They, a, yeah, it was like they made like a whole a contract. contract about how can't they, can't, they can't kick like out tenants that, that are 
Yeah. So she tried to do Stay on Main. Yeah. She did a different entrance for Stay on Main, like which was just so... It was the okay. same hotel, though. But it was different floors. Yeah. Basically, I, I forgot what it was. I think she had the tenants. The, the first and second right? were the tenants. And then I think three, four, five were Stay on Main. Then it went higher to the tenants. And then it went to Stay on Main. The only thing that they shared, basically, was the elevator. So you but could you still share see with... It. Like, you, they still ran into... Yeah, druggies no. or mm -hmm. you know people no matter what so it's it, they tried i guess but they were on skip row it's hard it's, it is it and is hard. That, the fact that this they had that serial killer that actually stood there yeah they had richard ramirez yeah you know who that is what? you know that one that because netflix dropped it before with this one the documentary the, the, the night, night stalker, stalker. That's he stood name? at the yeah. hotel and richard ramirez you killed yes. any, you know, he's killing and anybody he just himself? killed uh, i mean he didn't stop he was they said, he, they said he ran, he, he walked up to his room in his underwear and saw like, his blood on him and stuff and nobody would care. Get the fuck it's because people, you know, it's just whatever. She was, she was like, even her, she said, I don't know if there was anything I could have done. If I would have called the cops, would they have even come? Because they give a shit so many you, people <laughs> died there, uh -huh. you know? So we get a little more into it though. A lot of people did their own investigating. Yeah. A lot of people did their own digging, and they're like, yeah, like uh, like social YouTubers or social media yes, and stuff like did. that. They did, they their, did own their own digging. Stuff. They did stuff. People went to the hotel itself. Yeah. Um, and she took videos of everything, her room, everything. People wanted to stay in her room. You know. People. Are nice. I would probably go to the hotel. I'm not gonna say I wouldn't. I'm not gonna say I wouldn't go to the hotel. <laughs> I'm not going However, to I would not stay there. No. I'd be three blocks or four blocks away and another one. I wouldn't sleep there. I ain't love it. I'm not doing Google would, images. Google it's not just her. It's all the people that died in there. I know, but... Fuck that. Okay, it takes a lot to scare me. Let's just put that. I'm a horror movie enthusiast. Stay I'm a very big horror movie enthusiast. So it takes a lot to scare me, but... Um, <laughs> no, please no. It's just a quick thing. I just go in. I see, you know, how I felt at the moment and then just like... You know, I mean, I would not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would just leap over. I feel creeped out already. Mm -hmm. I was watching oh a documentary about myself, like uh, at one point. I was watching with her, but then I watched the the elevator bump myself, and you know they put the ominous music to make it creepier. So I was like, damn, this shit, look at me. Because <laughs> she, like I've I already said, seen it. So to looked, me, it was nothing. She looked. Like she, I thought I didn't think it was supernatural. People thought it was supernatural. Was she talking to a ghost of this? I, I thought she was just bugging out. You and, thought that she was drugged. Yeah. yeah. But then like, the coroner's report came back. She's clean. Yeah, she's clean. So like, wow, she's not drugged. And people didn't believe, and a lot of people like, like they really didn't believe. A it. lot of people believe. They didn't want to believe it. It was foul play, because of the coroner's report that it was an accidental, yeah. and then it was suicidal, and they said that it was dated three days apart. But if you do look, it just looks like the pen faded a little bit yeah. when you marked it. But it looks like the same date. Yeah, that's why I like the Netflix kind of because it was like. Detail. 18th and the 15th, people that are the five. But if you look really close, it is an eight. Mm -hmm. You can see that it's an eight. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's crazy. Honestly, no, it probably it's somebody whooped it. No, some people. No, it wasn't. That, I, I, From what you told me, it sounds no. like somebody they, whooped they, it. They, 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 they concluded this. This documentary actually, has a conclusion. I want to say something actually. I want to say that the people who harassed Morbid, it was not right. He did not do it. Mm -hmm. He wasn't there and. He didn't even get an apology. This person tried to take their own life because of yeah. all the internet trolling and all the thing people saying, "Oh, um, you know, you're the one who killed her. You killed her. You should die. You're a murderer. Everything." Was, and he media. didn't do it. He lost everything because of it. He can't write music anymore. He had to go to a mental institution. You know. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna say sorry to him because no one else did. Yeah, that's fucking. No, it. You know, it now Netflix is showing that. Exactly Not saying he'll ever watch this because I don't know, but you know, someone may know him and say, you know, someone actually mentioned you and said sorry because you deserve a sorry. I didn't believe he did it, but a lot of people did, and he did deserve an apology somewhere. Yeah, no. So he's he was a rocker. I'm not into the rocking stuff. He's like into that worship and yeah, like, Satan stuff. He was he like make up all like Sting sometimes. And stuff. Yes. Uh, like, and the fact he said he's at the Caesar Hotel. He put up a video and stuff and so many. So people like doing their own investigation started trolling him. You killed her. I know you did it. This yeah, thing. Yeah, everything. Like, and he was so he bad. had so much evidence to prove his innocence. Yeah. He didn't stay there when she was there. They Once. saw the date and they said, oh, it's the same time. But they didn't look at the year. Yeah. He was a year before. Mm. And then he, when she ended up dead, he was out of the country. He had he literally his passport. He had his passport. He had every single thing to late. show that he was innocent. And nobody cared. They just kept on writing things. And this led to him 
actually attempting suicide. Suicide. Yep. And he lost and his he, it, YouTube deleted his account. Everybody deleted his account because they thought he was the one who did it. The one who did it. Yeah. And he lost his, his music is, career too. And, he's lost and then that not one too. person actually apologized nope. mm. after. It was and done. it's cool because Netflix brings that into light here, and he came on to talk about it. He too. said he hadn't talked about her in like what seven yeah. eight years. Yeah. It was like damn, they kind of ruined his life thinking he did some shit. Mm -hmm. And he didn't do it. He was innocent, and that's why I felt bad. That's why cyberbullying is wrong. Every type of bullying is wrong. Yes, but in this case, cyberbullying is wrong. And you should definitely get, inform yourself before you talk about shit. Yeah, but they were they're so obsessed with it, and you know, in the ending, they were... There were people that were so yeah. obsessed with it. Yeah, and the ending, it, it, you know what, it, it was just that she, she, was, she was bipolar. She was bipolar, which not a lot of people knew. And she, and she was all for meds. And then the coroner investigated and saw that there was more medication there than should have been because she should have been taking certain medications mm -hmm. and then um so her erratic behavior was more than just the elevator scene the elevator scene you know is just one thing she was actually like there was there was, uh, there was yeah, she was staying with these other three girls i think yeah no, there's three other girls in a room and they had reported to the manager that they didn't really feel comfortable with her. She was erratic. She was kind of, you yeah, know, so acting strangely. She was putting notes. Yeah, notes on them to Same leave her theme. alone. Yeah. Leave, get out. At one point... She locked them out the room. Right? Yeah, and at one point, yeah, she locked them out the room. She was looking for a passport. Yeah. And yeah. so they just, instead of calling 911 and saying, you know, this girl's acting very erratic. They were so used to this type of behavior. They just said, okay, we're just going to move her to her own room. They should have still Which was the worst mistake. Contact the parents and stuff too, you know. Yeah. Which, yeah. That, but it was a mistake. Leaving yeah. her alone was even a bigger mistake yeah. because that's when things unraveled and no one was there to say, you know, she's acting strange. But she actually walked downstairs and went to the lady and said, you know, I'm crazy, but so is everyone in LA, right? Yeah. Hmm. And the she lady's just said like, that. Hmm. and there was a port about it. And then, but you the know, lady was like, but this is, this is, this, this is, this is a hotel. They used to, they used to people doing that. So she didn't, it didn't pass, it didn't pass her mind, you know, it didn't bother. And her family knows about her situation too, so, but, you know, mm. so they know that how she is, and her sister said that she would act that way if she was off of meds too. So it, that whole thing, it was just, it was just her acting, what, yeah. what's the word, erratic? Acting erratic, yeah. It was like, she was probably in a, in a state of mania. Yeah. Mania, the a mania part, the you know, like. hallucinations and stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah. hallucinating. From what you told me, I didn't know that, that she's bipolar or anything. Yeah. You can't really tell. Oh, exactly. I, see, I was just watching the, the footage. Yeah, because everybody, all they had was that no one footage. knew that. Everybody thought they were just like, like, how, how do you say that? You know, I could, I could see it. She was on four different medications. I guess, like, I, I've seen bipolar people, yeah. and yeah. I've seen how what happens when they don't take it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I could see it happening, and I don't know any other drugs she, she took, any other medications. I know that she was on venlafaxine. Which is what's for her de depression, and stopping anything for depression is just not the way to go. Uh, if, if you do, I think you talk to your psychiatrist before you stop any type of medication. So she's taking those two types of medications. I knew she was taking them. She was She could yeah. see things. Like yeah. she was out. Yeah, and I knew. She, I think she was taking Seroquel too, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, but I think I saw that on the bottle. Yeah, but mm. it, it's and not. And she stopped, and that is for. It's an anti-psychotic. Not saying that anybody's psychotic is on it. I don't believe that, no. But it's just called an anti-psychotic, you know? Mm -hmm. And so stopping medication just makes you, yeah, you know, not who you are when you're on them. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's what really happened. There, people wanted different truths. People wanted different things. But no, it was just simply that. And they blew it up to be like it was something else. Mm -hmm. They didn't accept the coroner's thing. And, you know, they don't want to believe it, which is crazy. And that's, you know, people would go crazy not you know trying to figure out the truth when it was just right there the truth was just that there's no was, foul play or nothing yeah she was a, and even that they were like it's still impossible how did she get into a water tank and yeah. then say that and then close that on herself it would have been impossible for her to close it on herself you know it's heavy it's that's because the police report the, said the thing was closed mm. and it wasn't it wasn't closed the janitor told them when he did the the statement he said that it was uh he found the door open Mm -hmm. So they didn't check good enough. Oh, yeah. shit. Mm -hmm. And one of the the cops, I gotta say, though, I felt kind of bad because he was like, we missed her, we missed her. And it, you could see in his, his yeah. expression and his, the way he said it earlier. that he just felt like that was the worst. It's a mistake. 
it's a big mistake because they could have found it earlier, you know? Yeah. They, yeah, instead of waiting. It took four months for a Cornell's report. Yeah. Damn. They wanted to be thorough, they said. Yeah. Like, make they, sure they really get that that verdict that, you know, they, but they found out it was just bad. You do have to be thorough, though. Yeah. Because in these cases where you have people coming up with a lot of theories, conspiracy theories, you know, it's just, yeah. you have to know what to say. So it was That's basically true. a... Uh, miss like um, I don't know. It was know. a whole plethora of things. Like, oh, yeah. it was a, it was a mess up, a very big they, mess they, up. They missed it. They should, misinformation. It there should have been thorough. But the you know. cop just missed it. He said all of it was on there, so everybody believed it. People were like, I mean, not saying that South Lake can't still be ruled out. I mean, just because the top wasn't on, a guy could have gone with a gun and told her go upstairs and go in there. But like I'm not saying that that happened. I'm not saying it didn't happen. We don't know. Yeah, it was ruled an accidental drowning. Yeah, though, at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure because they it's good, well concluded. At least the killer. You know, there's no killer or anything. That's why I'm happy. Kind of like yeah. concluded. I, I, I feel comfortable with that, but it was actually good. Like I said, they get pretty into details and stuff like that, which I like a lot. And it's like shit I didn't even know about because I just seen the video. Oh, same thing. I never knew the conclusion. I never knew any of this. I didn't really dive into it like these people did, you know. I just was like, wow, I don't know what she's looking for. Why is the elevator staying open? Why is it slowed down? Why can't I see the time? It was yeah. a lot of stuff that I was just like, what's up? For what's real? going on? Yeah, no, it was, but... No, it was good though, John. You should watch it. Yeah, I know we told you a lot about yeah. it, but there's too, there's still too much in there, like the way they detail there everything. There's a stuff, lot so. of stuff in there. It, yeah, yeah, it's I'll good. Definitely gonna watch it because I am. But, I'm very mm -hmm. unique. I think very differently, so I could probably come back and say, "Yo, this is my two cents." But yeah, yeah. No, but yeah. now I know that um, they sold the hotel, right? Yeah. They sold the hotel. They sold the hotel for a couple million now. Yeah. A couple That's million. It. Five cents from people that died. No, they it. sold it. Yeah, now they're trying to make it like the, you know popular. You know how they're trying to push. They're still trying to push the people out, the poor and all that. Are they? I like, thought that they were making it into a home. Oh, they do it like they gave them best like a home thing for them. Are they? I forgot. For more, for, so for them to stay and stuff. Right? I think so. Yeah. Like they're homeless, I'm trying to help them, like put them somewhere. It's gonna be on the street. Mm. Yeah, they do need to do that though, because if that's an entire row right there yeah. of. What they call skid row, it's obviously people who are mentally disabled. The bull, you can take those people in and get them help, and maybe try to get them to live somewhere and have a life, not just throw them on the side of the road and say, you know what, you're not a person just because you have a mental disorder. Yeah, yeah, that's true. No, it was good, Johnny. Watch it though. The Richard well, Ramirez is actually pretty good too. Hunting him down was very hard. He got to so many victims, mm. and like the only thing they had was that shoe print from him constantly that shoot for and they just kept missing him that was in the 80s yeah but they and he got to yeah. kill so many people in his in his own trial he was like hail satan yeah before he went in no, you know? but it was well, that's, no, that's fucking nuts <laughs> it is, yeah. yeah yeah no but yeah you should check it out john i wanted to talk about this because yeah, it was interesting. I liked it, and you know, it's pretty like big right now. But it was a really interesting documentary. I like it a lot. And mm -hmm. you know, it's good to know the truth and what really, really what happened. Because the truth is out there. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. It was really. It's good though. No, and it's good to see the you know light of what happened and how people got affected by it and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. really good documentary. We really like missed out on such a good person though. Cause she was such a good writer and like she could have became such a good like mm -hmm. you know art like what is it i'm oh, sorry oh my god author, author. she could have became such a good author because yeah. her writing was just beautiful but... she used to blog and stuff like that yeah but and her writing was beautiful but yeah. just you know it was this fact that That's why always... no one said do you need me to call yeah. someone for you? Are you okay? Is something going on? They'll always be there for people. Always try to help people. That no matter have, where you know, you're so at, I mean, you never the, know. The the skid row is skid row, but the, these people are depressed yeah. and these people are unhappy. Mm -hmm. Always ask for help. Well, not help. Always ask to help. Some people are not always strong enough to ask for help. That's why mm -hmm. I'm saying it as a person. But yeah. Like, you okay? Try to be, you know, help because you never know if they're really depressed. I know the hotel manager was like, there's nothing I could have done. Yeah. Really, because it was Skid Row. I was used to it. It was the Cecil, you know. There's a, but, but yeah, I just feel like there's always something. There's a it. difference between you know? being used to it and then someone telling you this yeah. person's acting erratic. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 
like really trying because you know, even if they're at skid row and stuff you know they're homeless you still can help they're trying to help them put them home you know stuff like that yeah definitely. there's always something you can do there's always a choice you know yeah all right well but let's let's conclude this because yeah. uh it was a good interesting topic but it was awesome it was a good it was a good documentary but I, thank you guys for listening to us again in another episode of the vigilantes we'll be here every week and like i said i'm trying to do multiple episodes so we can put out some more content but it's been real fun guys honestly yeah definitely yeah. definitely thank you my fiance for coming on again we like this documentary so much it was good and so subscribe to, please yes subscribe. subscribe to the youtube channel give us a view a like and kind of, you could comment and especially like i said if you guys want some hats just let me know so we can do something for you because the vigilante hats are popping right now and if that, there's that. anything that you want to know like anything you want us to watch and do this on yeah comment below and let us know yeah let us know guys and keep listening to us on Anchor too. Anchor, Google Podcasts, because I also have the audio if you guys don't like watching the video. But thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. We'll be back next week.